everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week I have drawn and painted a edible crab. I have decided to, instead of voiceover like I normally do, talk to camera in the little me box in the corner because, well, the watch time on my videos where my face is involved apparently seems to be much higher. I don't blame you all. But I'm joking, of course. I think it's because I find it easier to talk to camera or to talk to myself than I do to have a scripted thing. I'm better at rambling than I am at reciting something I've written on paper. So yeah, <laughs> you'll have to put up my face in the corner for a bit um, unless you go, unless there's a mad rush for everyone to go watch my videos where I'm narrating and then, then I'll know that you want to stop seeing this. Because on, on one of my rock pooling trips, if you see my rock pooling vlog, I will link to that below, I found this gorgeous little edible crab and I hadn't really thought much about them before but the pattern on the shell was just so intricate and there were so many more colours than what I expected as juvenile crabs are normally just purple in my mind and then as they get older they turn more reddish brown but when you really look at it they have so much colour um, so for the next bit of this video I am going to swap over to past outside rock pooling vlog me who took some recording of the footage so this little guy is awesome he's an edible crab so cancer pagoras is his latin name now unlike most crabs which are aggressive and want to attack the world these little guys they don't they are well their their, their survival strategy is to stay hidden and low and not be found so when you ever find one of these, it's normally hidden under rocks and they're just like, oh no, my home is gone. And they will just they will just sit there. Um, as you can see, he's making no no effort whatsoever uh, to attack me. He doesn't care, he's just like, hi girl, can you, can you put me down soon? So we'll put this little guy back, but oh, it's just stunning purple. Very gorgeous patterning. Say bye. Bye. I have underrated edible crabs. Really, I don't pay too much attention to them compared to other species. But that's because the personality of some other crabs outshines the edible crab, in my opinion. I love super aggressive tiny animals, so I naturally go towards other species, such as the devil crab, which I've spoken about many times, and my love for them is very strong. But edible crabs are really cool. And the reason they're so plastic compared to the other crabs, which I didn't realise, is that they're actually nocturnal. Probably why they don't do very much, they're just grumpy, you've woken them up. I, I, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I'd be grumpy, I'm gonna feel bad now every time I find a crab. I'm, I feel bad that I've, I've woken the poor fella up. As well as hunting on the usual crab stuff in that it can find anything that's smaller than it to eat. It will eat members of the same species that are smaller, it will eat other crabs, it will eat snails, anything it can catch. But what I didn't know and what I found very interesting was that edible crabs actually dig. If there are stuff like razor clams or clams buried in mud, they will go out there and dig them up to eat them. I didn't know that. How cool is that? That's that are very clever. They're actually really important for the economy too. In the, They are harvested for crab meat. So if you've ever gone to a restaurant, a fancy one will bring the crab out with it. Or if you've ever had crab meat, it's most likely this type of crab. In the English Channel, they harvest over 10,000 tonnes a year. And in the entirety of Scotland, they harvest over 7,000 tonnes and it's worth 9 million to the Scottish economy. So no small number there. From these species. Have I made yourself a cup of tea yet? Pause the video, go make one and come back. You know everything's better with a good cup of tea or coffee or any beverage. Make you make life easier. Chill, relax, watch me paint. Mute this so you stop hearing my voice rambling on. Let's talk a bit about the artwork that I'm doing here. I'm using watercolour like normal and uh, the real focus I wanted this painting to be on was the shell. So earlier I was trying to blend in loads of greens and blues and reds and yellows which I saw in the shell in this kind of iridescent tone in the crab and I hope I kind of captured that in a bit. I was subtle and then I 
decided to include a background as well. And the reason I decided to include a background, I think I should try and include more background. It's not something I'm particularly comfortable with, but it adds more context. I think it makes the paintings a bit more exciting. So it's something that I'm hoping to put in with a lot more. And secondly, because I'm working from my own photograph where I've got a lot of detail. So when I found this gorgeous little crab, I took a picture of it and I really like this photo. Um, the photo is gonna flash up now. So this is me painting directly from uh, this picture. So I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible, but at the same time, keep my style and just try and practice. So I include the shadows, but take away some of the the white glare from the, the crab being covered in a layer of water because that gets rid of some of the details, I think. And then I outline everything in fine line like I normally do. Um, on the crab but I leave the rocks and everything uh, unoutlined in fine line because unoutlined unoutlined isn't a word I leave the rocks and everything uh, plain from fine line pen but go over them later in pencil uh, to give them a bit more of an outline but like a less subtle one because they're not the focus of the picture I wanted the focus of the painting to be on the little crab baby so uh, yeah, and then I go over and add in all the white highlights with the white gel pen. So there was a, a white patterning on the uh, crab itself. So I added that in, and then some of the some of the whiter highlights. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Um, I appreciate any minutes that you have watched or any views that I get. So thank you very much. Just a reminder, if you want to buy this print or any of the other things that I have posted on my Instagram, Twitter, the link to all those social media stuff is below, um, then go to my Etsy shop. The link for this is also below. And it, I want to make these things so that they can go out there and be in a nice home. So if you fancy having a bit of my art on your walls, I would be more than honoured and pleased, very pleased, if you uh, headed over to my shop and just turn those around and, and got something. So have a good week everyone and I will see you next time.